underneath um, it's just a nice little setup well what is up everyone we are out here at the marina today um, the yacht club what have you in Milwaukee walking around checking stuff out it is the middle of summer so we don't know what to expect out here we came out here because the other day we saw a lot of carp and so we thought we'd go after some try to land them let them go you know how that goes catch and release sort of stuff but uh it's so dark right now the sun's not overhead we can't really see where the carp are and it's a very very visual thing you need to know where they are and kind of land it right in front of them um so we might switch to something else to go for some smallmouth bass around here we might tie on a big old frog popper and uh pop it around these uh, catamarans and sailboats and stuff like that and see if we can pull anything out of there. And if not, we'll wait till the sun comes up and start uh, looking for more carp. Uh, I should add, even if we don't end up catching a fish, being a little vlog update sort of thing, we will be showing a little update on the stock, the rifle stock project, which is pretty exciting. I'm excited to get back into it. I'm sure there's 50,000 views worth of people who are excited to see the next step of that. So uh, I thought we'd show off a little update on how that whole project's going. And uh, hopefully we'll get another project out here soon once I get some uh, some practice in. Make sure we don't mess it up. <laughs> so make sure to stay to the end of the video so that you can at least see that. Today we're also trying out a new Kingswell telescopic spinning rod. So might throw out some flies for some carp, but uh, otherwise we might throw out some little uh, swim baits and stuff for some bass if we see them. We're just gonna kind of play it by what we see. go nice I had a feeling he would go for the uh, little swim bait this is the same swim bait we used for all the pike and perch and stuff when we were in England little guy but I'll take it cool well that's one fish down let's uh, see if we can get some more eh? oh got another one it's taking us for a ride no dang man Got us uh, snagged into something. Oh, on the tube this time. Oh. The uh, swim bait stopped working, so I figured it was time to uh, switch to something else. Try something a little bit different. There we go. Nice, buddy. Little guy, but another smallmouth. And everyone loves bass, right? best darn fish in the whole darn world well uh two smallmouth down not seeing any more carb which is unfortunate um we cast out to a bunch of them just never got anything interested i think it's time to move spots and see if we can find some stuff elsewhere i've got some places in mind so let's keep going This is a change of scenery. I haven't actually come out here to specifically target bass yet, so figured it might be the time to try. Ooh, tough notch. There we go. Pretty fish on a little Ned rig. A little switch is all it took. There we go. Ned rig is working out, man. Cool. 
was our fourth of the day. Oh, he got it off, dirty dog. Had to switch hooks, and I'm out of uh, jig head looking ones that have weedless things to keep off rocks and stuff like that, so having to improvise here. But it's working. As we just saw, we just gotta keep them hooked. So yeah, we got an entire workshop now, uh, fairly clean. Obviously we have all this fishing stuff uh, here, but uh, yeah, not much I can do about that. Just have a lot of fishing stuff. I mean, we even got all the rods and stuff hung up and whatnot. So organized to the max. And that is one thing I've been responding to all the comments asking about when the next part will come out and it was all about oh i was so disorganized it just looked cluttered i'd rather have a more organized workspace and thankfully uh we've got all our stuff organized and little trays we got i got everything i mean honestly what we need to do at this point is just put little uh naming tags on all these drawers that way my wife could even tell what's in this stuff but uh i'm very excited about it i mean we even got little lights up here um, to have more uh, you know look at whatever's underneath um, it's just a nice little setup and I'm, I'm pretty excited to uh, get back into it everyone but I think we're gonna end it here um, nice little fishing trip today look at the workshop and where we are I will say we do have one more piece of equipment including uh, some checkering tools we have some checkering tools coming in so that we can uh, redefine all this sort of stuff and do anything else we want to do um, around here or um, I don't know change it up or future stocks in the in the future I guess future stocks in the future that makes sense so I will be showing off those when they finally get in here but anywho I think this is a good little spot to uh, call an end for this week if you enjoyed the video obviously hit the like uh, follow along if you want to uh, you know see more of it in the future whether it be the rival stock or some fishing spots in Milwaukee whatever we uh, get into adventures um, we will do it. If you like the, the fresh haircut, check out Tim at Point West Barber here in Milwaukee. Did a great job. Um, but I think all those guys do a great job. They're just, they, just seem, they just seem on point. Anywho, that's it for me. Like button, subscribe. We'll see you next time, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more content in the future. Feel free to check out a few of our other videos on the Modern Day Outdoorsman or check out BZ Hub, our outdoor gaming channel, with new videos every week.